that, but give a round of applause and let's get going to the next guest. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's a pleasure to welcome you on stage, Sir Thomas. bestiality or necrophilia and um, mine have pretty much got all of those. <laughs> yeah, I'll put them in the plastic folders that way they can, um, you know, you can wipe the jizz off of this. People always ask me, where do you get your ideas? And, um, you know, sometimes I get them out of magazines like this one I saw on the weekend. Um, it had, on the cover it had um, uh, this beautiful blonde lady and an elephant. And um, the elephant seemed to be um, fingering her with his trunk. But it's true, it's true. It's true. Sorry about that. But, um, <laughs> um, I, uh, well I was going to read you a bit of this one actually, I hope, I hope this is alright. Um, it's called, um, Eve loses her cherry to the snake. <laughs> Eve, Eve has just had a marvellous night before the, sna uh, before the snake, going where no girl has gone before. She, he has certainly had his wicked way with her. He feels great. She feels great, but totally shagged. <sighs> God. <laughs> God, God was watching, and he was enjoying it. I really aced it with womankind, he thought, reaching for some lube. Yeah. You know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, she was at the having a little wank. And, um, <laughs> as she passes past the garden, she wonders about the snake and has a flashback. All that meat slithering, flowing through her like silk. It's wrong. <laughs> she thought of bestiality in the PM. Um, not not the, the, the morning, uh, the afternoon, not the, not the actual PM. <laughs> too, too soon, isn't it? <laughs> Forbidden fruit tastes all the sweeter. But women just don't, shouldn't have sex with snakes. She, she decided to forget it as best she could, diverting herself with harmless pastimes like swimming and knitting. Something she just invented uh, with a couple of sticks and some, the hair of a, a sheep. <laughs> okay. It was quite fun. She was so agitated, she woke in the middle of the night. Instead of lying beside Adam, she was standing in the middle of the forbidden garden went the snake, as she stiffened in surprise. Because it was a snake, you know. What am I doing here, she wondered. That was something I was thinking he missed. She was still horny. <laughs> for him. And the quite good darkness had thrown an aura of anonymity over the proceedings. He could be anyone. She could feel the glistening coils moving over her feet. He murmured as he gave her ankle a yank. She must have she must have hit her head because the next thing she knew she was lying next to him in the tree, high up on the branch, her legs sprawled open as, as if waiting for something to slide in. It's <laughs> a that's an image, isn't it? <laughs> but, um, distasteful. That's, um, she could feel the snake brush against her in the, in the dark and was alarmed when his eyes blinked on like two headlamps only inches from her face. 
if he's a snake. And, uh, <laughs> I know what you're thinking, he said. What? You're thinking I'm really crap at foreplay. He laughed. But baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> with that, he plied her with his tongue. It was wet and slippery, and it travelled over every inch of her extremely young body. Yeah, she was only about two days old. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, you know, perfectly formed. Perfectly formed. <laughs> this, is, this is not, you know, not like that. <laughs> Any fear of being eaten was quickly forgotten as she brought it, brought, as she brought it to the peak of sexual pleasure. Her voice sounded like a dove. I've been practicing that all afternoon. It's really hard, you know, doing the, the, the dove thing. You like that, he observed, breaking, breaking off his breath. Right, bring me off to get his breath. Don't stop, she demanded, clamping her legs around his neck. Yeah. So, it, it, well, in the darkness, she felt the end of his towel slipping into her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> An alarming sensation. It made her jump and squirm. It, it seemed to flow right through her. It felt like, it, it, it was huge and it filled her like the cock of God. <laughs> or how she imagined God to feel. Somewhere in, in this control booth, God sat, trying to ignore his huge, huge erection. Some guys get all the luck, he said to himself. Yeah, it's, it's, actually, it's actually part of a much larger work. But, uh, maybe next time. Thank you, I was Sue Thomas. Sir Thomas, ladies and gentlemen, look at that.